Welcome to Gamma Classroom. Today, I'm going to introduce the resistance and the switch. Before we start the new video, let's renew the previous video first. The main points in previous video. Electrons can be motivated to flow through a conductor by the same force manifested in static electricity. Voltage is the medium of specific potential energy. Potential energy per unit charge between two locations. Voltage as an expression of potential energy is always relative between two locations or points. Sometimes it is called a voltage drop. When a voltage source is connected to a circuit, the voltage will cause a uniform flow of ele electrons through that circuit, called a current. In a single one-loop circuit, the amount of current at any point is the same as the amount of current at any other point. If a circuit containing a voltage source is broken, the full voltage of that source will appear across the point points of the brick. We already learned this circuit in previous video. Actually, this circuit is not a very practical circuit. We just use a piece of wire, connect the body, negative pole and the positive pole. In fact, it can be uh, quite dangerous. Why it is dangerous? Because the magnitude of electric current may be very large in this circuit. And the release of energy is very traumatic. We all may have experience that when we connect two wires to a battery, to a battery, and you will be see here, we always see the sparks between the two wires, and we will feel this battery will be getting hot. One practical and popular use of electric current is for the operation of electrical lighting, like this. This is a battery, this is a bubble. When the bubble connects to the battery, the current, the electrons flow go this way. Go this way, the bubble is on. The bubble is on. The simplest form of electrical lamp is a tiny metal filament. Filament is this one. The current from here go to the negative pole, connect to this leg of the filament, and go back to here to positive. Go back to the battery. Go back to the battery. They have the white heart, the white heart, called the growing white heart, called the incandescence, with heat energy, heat energy. So when the current is sufficient, they will get the light is on. It has two conductors. One is called the negative, this, this guy. The another one is the positive on the Bottom on the bottom. 
the current is from the electrons is from the left hip go inside to the leg of the filament and go back to here to the positive or the existing from the positive let's take a look at the two footers in the left side the foot this is the body or voltage source we connect to a barber and come back to the positive pole and the current from the negative pole or the electrons amount from the negative pole go to the positive pole is limited because they have the bubble between the two poles this bubble actually is called the resistor and here in this in the right side the board they use the wire connect the two poles negative and positive they have no no resisted resistance in this circuit so the current will flow from here to here is very large and the battery will be get very hot shortly so the energy will release from here to here is very fast so the resistor can limit the amount of elect electrons flow through the circuit when the resistor value is smaller if this resistor is smaller the amount of electron flow in the circuit is bigger so when the voltage is the same when the resistor value is smaller then the amount of electrons flow in this circuit is bigger when the resistor value is bigger then the amount of the electrons flow in the circuit is smaller the function is exactly the same with the water valve we can know we know when the valve is fully open the water pass through the pipe is the maximum the maximum when turn the valve to close slowly slowly to close then the water flow through the piping is getting smaller smaller until to fully closed when the valve is fully closed then there is no water flow in the pipe when electrons move electrons move against the resistors resistor a friction is generated just like a mechanical friction we see this on a movie when we see the right the out the out rising when the car put the brake on or the car will make a turn we will see a lot of smoking this is smoking the reason is the tire with the road has the friction and gener generate a lot of heat similar with this when the electrons pass through the resistor it generates heat this resistor will getting hot we're getting hot if the lamp is on and you move your hand close by the lamp you will feel the, the heat the heart getting hot the reason is the energy from the body is displayed on the bulb the concentrated resistance of a lumbar filament 
results in a relatively large amount of heat energy dissipated at that filament. This is a filament. This one is a filament. The heat energy is enough to cause the filament to grow white hot, white hot and produce hot produce night. This is a bubble. This is a filament. When the current is sufficient, then the filament will grow getting hot, white hot and then produce night. So what is the resistor? What is the resistor? From Wikipedia, a resistor is a passive two-terminal electrical component that implements electrical resistance as a circuit element. It looks like this. The symbol we always use one like this, like the coil, the another one like a rectangle. These two are examples the resistor in a circuit diagram. The first one like this, we sometimes put like a resistor, the description on the top of the rectangle. This is the circuit. Sometimes we just put like the R. If we have the several resistors, we put R1, R2, R3. Also, sometimes we put the value of the ohm, 10 ohm, 100 ohm, or 50 ohm. There is the ohm now. We will introduce the ohm now details in the late videos. For now, we just get general understanding. The ohm now description resistance is equal to the voltage divided by the current. The formula is this one, resistance equal voltage divided by current. And almost the simple, like the omega, eh? omega equal voltage divided by m. What is the one ohm? The one ohm is equal to one watt divided by one amp current is equal to one ohm. So if move the amp from this formula, move this amp to this side, so the voltage will equal current times resistance. So this is in a circuit. If this voltage is one watt, and you can get one amp current, then the resistor is this one ohm. Reverse, we put the one ohm resistor here, and we get one watt voltage source here. Definitely, we can get one amp current in this circuit. There are two kinds of resistors, fixed, and the variable resistor. Fixed resistors have resistance that only change slightly with temperature, time, or operating voltage. Variable resistors can be used to adjust circuit elements, such as a value control or a lamp, a lamp dimmer, dimmer, or as a sensor devices for heat, light, humidity, force, or chemical activity. In electronic circuits, resistors are used to reduce current flow 
It's just a single levers to divide voltages by us active elements and terminate transmission lines among other users. Those resistors is an example for are used in electronic circuits. Those are fixed value, fixed, fixed value resistors. The value only change with temperature, little bit change with temperature, or time, or voltage level. High power resistors that can dissipate many watts of electrical power as heat may be used as part of motor controls in power distribution systems or as test loaders for generators. These two pictures are showing the high power resistors. In this picture, they have the resistor, different resistor here. They have two contacts here. The power comes from this side in and from this side out, or you can from this side in, go this side out, doesn't matter. Both ways, they have low direction. And this is another high power resistor. The power from this coming or from this coming, from this out, that's mad. The current will pass through this resist resistor. When the current passes through the resistor, it will generate a lot of heat. So we need the radiation or radiate to help to dissipate the heat as fast as possible. Sometimes probably the fun, electrical fan to brew this resistor to cool the resist down. The two pictures showing the another examples of variable resistors. This one we call the potential omit potential omit. This is a shaft. The shaft this is a stationary stationary carbon composition resistance element. And this is the facial bronze wiper. The wiper. And this is the shaft attached to the wiper. When you turn this shaft, this web will move. And the the resistance value between the two leg or three legs, the resistance value will be changed. So we call the potential omit. This is another example. This is a variable resistance. For example, for this, this is a variable because they can adjust the resistance value use a screwdriver so you can turn this way or turn that way and change the value the resistor they have the three legs normally we only have two legs for resistors but here at the third one this is the type you can get the resistors value from these two legs if you need and you can get another voltage uh, resistance value from these two legs. Or if you need a bigger, you can get the, these two legs. These two legs maybe is the total resistors. And this is the part of the resistor. So you can one resistor, you can get several choice for the resistor value. Oh also you can turn this use a screwdriver and turn this key and change the resist value. So this is called a variable resist or sometimes called a real state.
This is the another example. You can change the lob, then you can change the resistor's value. So the, they have different different number. You see here, it times one thousand, times one hundred, times ten. So you can turn turn the lob and to find you exactly what the resistor you need. The electrical function of a resistor is specified by its resistance. Common commercial resistors are manufactured over a range of more than nine orders of magnitude. The nominal value of the resistance follows within the manufacturing tolerance indicated on the component. There is a color code for all the resistors. When you see a resistor, you will see the color code on the resistor. The, this code from the left side to the right side, they are called first band, second band, multiplier torrents, or we call the A, B, C, D. But the problem in the in the video you will find, which hand is the left side, which one is the left right side, you can check it here. You see, this distance is white, and this distance is narrow. So the white one should be in the right side. So here, you can find this distance is smaller. You see, this distance is bigger. So this should be left side. And for this one, this distance is narrow. This is white. So this should be the left side. The letter A in the color code is this one. This means the first significant figure of component's value is in the left side. The B is this one. The second significant figure, some precision resistors have a certain significant figure and those five bands some sometimes in the old the resistor they have another band here we call the five bands and the C the decimal multiplier number of training zeros or power of 10 multiplier it's called c if the d d if present indicated tolerance of value in percentage if it's no this color it means 20 percent it's a positive or the negative 20 percent of the total value this is the example of how to read the color code for the resistors. The first one you see from the left side, this is yellow. The yellow number means it's four. The second band is purple. Purple means seven. And they have this resistor, they have five bundles. The another one, the three, number three is black. Black means zero. So the number is 470, 470 here. And the, the first one is orange. The orange means three, as it means 10, the power three. So it's 470 times 10 power three is equal to 470. Thousand. This is four seventy thousand ohm. So this is the resistor. 
and this one is the torrents. Torrents is the, the brown. Brown means it's positive and the negative one percentage. So this ohm is 470 kilo ohm, positive and the negative one percent. So this is the value. The second one, you can see, this is the blue. Blue means it's six. And the second one is gray. The gray means eight. And the third one is red. Red means it's two. So this is six, eight, two. It's equal 68 times 10 powers two. So equal to 6.8 kilo ohm. And this one is the golden, you see the golden color. So the tolerance is positive or negative 5%. So the total value is 6.8 kilo ohm positive and negative 5%. This is the complete table for the resistor color code. You can find this table online. Just search the resistor color code. You can you will find this. They have the code called the word unit. This R A L is means the Europe European standards. So you have different color color use different number different number pink like the pink means 10 the power is minus 3 and the silver gold you have every everything here in the future if you need find what exactly the resistance value you can check this table and then use the well, that we showing be before, then you can find exactly what is the resistance value. As in the case of the short circuit, if the continuity of the circuit is broken at any point, electron flow stops throughout the entire circuit. With the lamp in place, this means that it will stop growing. We already know when the circuit broke here, break here. So the lamp, electrical lamp, low growing because this have the broken circuit, low flow through in the circuit. If we connect a switch in the broken point like this and push the switch closed then the circuit will growing up again because this circuit is closed so the current will from this point through the lamp and exist from this point and go back to the battery so this circuit is being closed. So what is the switch and what is the switch used for? Everybody has the experience. When you at home just turn on the switch. The switch turn on the bulb in your room the light is on. The light is on. You don't know what inside this part, what exactly connect to. We don't know. We just turn on the switch. The light is on. This is how a switch mounted on the wall of a house can control a lamp that is mounted down a long hallway or even in another room far away from the switch. The switch itself is constructed of a pair of conductive contacts, usually made of some kind of metal, 
forced together by a mechanical lever actuate or push button. When the contacts touch each other, electrons can flow from one to the other and the circuit continuity is established. When the contacts are separated, electron flow from one to the other is prevented by the isolation of the air between, and the circuit continuity is broken. What we see here is the basis for switching numbers on and off by remote switches. Because any break in a circuit's continuity results in current stopping throughout the entire circuit, we can use a device designed to intentionally break the continuity, call it a switch, mounted at any convenient location that we can run wires to to control the flow of electrons in the circuit. Perhaps the best kind of switch to show for illustration of the basic principle is the life switch. This is a life switch. They have two poles. The power connect from this point, this pole, when the life is open, because they have air between the, this one and this one, so this circuit is open. The current, the electrons flows cannot through this point to this point. When the life, the plate is pushed down close to this one, so these two poles connect together through this pole. So the circuit is closed. So the current can pass through from this point to this point. When the power is connected to this side and the lamp is connected to this side, then the power can, pro can pass through these two points to the lamp. The lamp will be on. There are two diagrams. Those diagrams will be learned, will be learned in the future videos. So in this circ diagrams, we already learned this is a battery or power source. This is a lamp. And this one today we will introduce is the switch. This is a switch. When the switch open, this circuit is open. No power flow from this point to this point, or even from this point, for the electrons flow to this point. But when the switch move close to this one, move down, and this circuit is closed, so the electrons come from this way, go to the lamp, go back to here, go back to the battery. So this circuit is closed, so the lamp will be on. Similar, this is another diagram. This is a battery. So when the switch open, when the switch open, this lamp is off. Then the power source voltage is fully in this two point. That means is V2 is equal to V1. The reason is there is no current flow through this way. So the potential point is the same because this is connected to here, connect to this point. So this point is equal to this point. The reason is this switch is open. So the current is zero, but the potential is the same.
This terminology is often confusing to the new student of electronics because the words open and closed are commonly understood in the context of a duo where open is equal with free passage and closed with blockage. This is a duo. When the door is open, so you can pass through the door. Similar with the water valve. When the valve is open, it's open, all the water can flow through the pipe to this side. When the door is closed, nobody can pass through. When the valve is closed, no water passes through the pipe. But in electrical, when the switch called closed, that means the electrons can flow through the circuit. And open is opposite. Low current can be flow in the circuit. Conversely, a switch that is breaking continuity for example, a life switch with the plate not touching the stationary contact point would allow electrons to pass through and is called an open switch. Here is another type of life switch with two stationary contacts instead of one. We already know this switch with one stationary contact. So the knife switch can open or close to this contact. Here is that there are two, there are two stationary contacts. One is this one, another one is this one. So the plate can move to this side to con contact to this stationary context or you can move to this side to connect to this context we call this switch as a select select switch you will both we can choose two options you can choose to this side or you can move to this side this is an example for the two stationary Context knife switch. There are two batteries in the circuit, battery one and battery two. When the plate of the knife switch is contacted to the contact number one, the light is on, but the power supply is from the battery one only because in the left side circuit, this is closed and in the right side the, in this circuit they have the break break in here the contact two with contact zero is break so in this circuit no current flow so the battery two is out of the service so the all the power supply for the lamp is coming from battery one only. But if we move the plate to contact two, and in the right side circuit, the battery two is working now. Because in this circuit, it is closed. The, the contact two with the contact zero is connected. But in the left side, there, ha there is the brick in these two points, the contact one and the contact zero. So this circuit is open. Then the battery one is out of the service. So the, all the power for the lamp is come from battery two only.
Life switches are great for illustrating the basic principle of how a switch works, but they present distinct safety problems when used in high power electric circuits. The exposed conductors in a life switch make accidental contact with the circuit a distinct possibility, and any sparking that may occur between the moving plate and the stationary contacts is free to ignite any nearby flammable materials. This picture shows different type of switches. We know this switch in our home, all the night switch use this one. This is like the tag. You put on, put down, it's close or open. Just a shift. And this switch is a key switch. You can put the key inside in them turn on, turn off. And this is a tag switch. You can put on, put off, put on, put off. This is a multi-position, rotary select switch. This is like the select switch. We can choose different position. You just load this shaft. Then you can choose different the position. That's all we should learn in this video. So let's renew that we have learned. Resistance is the major of opposition to electric current. A short circuit is an electric circuit offering little or no resistance to the flow of electrons. Short circuits are dangerous with high voltage power sources because the high current in concrete can cause large amounts of heat energy to be released. An open circuit is one where the continuity has been broken by an interruption in the path for electrons to flow. A closed circuit is one that is complete with good continuity throughout. A device designed to open or close the circuit and the conditions is called a switch. The terms open and closed write to switches as well as entire circuits. An open switch is one without continuity. Electrons cannot flow through it. A closed switch is one that provides a direct, no resistance path for electrons to flow through. If you like this channel, please subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching.